What's going on, everybody? RFI Drummer here, bringing you another episode of NASCAR Heat to Three Career Mode. This is part nine. Um, I did the first four, eight parts. Um, I did that all in just a bulk recording. Um, the first day it came out, and uh, so I've been slowly uploading the videos, uh, one you know, one part a day. Um, I, when I posted part four, I realized that. Um, the other half of the video hadn't saved, so I know I have a disclaimer in there, and I, I'm bringing up old stuff right now, but um, I just wanted to just also vocally apologize for that. Uh, that won't happen again. I, I It rendered, I guess, differently. It didn't get the whole video, and uh, when I uh, went to upload, I was just kind of watching it just to make sure, and I was like, oh my god, it's missing the last half, and I already had deleted the original files to make keep room on the computer, so that way I... Um, you know, don't run out of space. I can continue to bulk record here. Uh, so that won't happen again. I learned from that mistake, uh, just like I've learned from my audio mistakes in the past. So, uh, yeah, so uh, where we are at right now, we left off. We were at Jefferson. Um, in the last episode, we had that real good Eldora finished. Uh, we finished in the 14th, 17th at Texas. Um, and then obviously this season, we've had 22nd, 12th, and 14th. Uh, so we're going to do Jefferson and Taggart. I'm probably not going to show a whole lot of Jefferson. Uh, we will do the whole Taggart and whole Las Vegas race, though, in this episode. So um, we'll probably do three episodes just because not a whole lot goes on for me at Jefferson except running in the back and just trying to beat my own fast lap. So uh, we're going to just leave that there. Quick look at the point standings. Evan Ratner, he is in first. Brady Lewis, second. Elliot Henderson, third. Michelle Baker Dillon, fourth. Hugh Ackerman, fifth. Todd Laguerre, CJ Boswell, Lauren Sheridan, John Schneider, and Brady Davidson round out the top 10. Uh, but the more important picture is obviously the playoff standings, and that's where we're at right now. Evan, Michelle, Hugh, CJ, Sean, they have wins. Brady, Elliot, Todd Laguerre, they are in on points. So let's uh, go ahead and get on into it. We're going to Jefferson, prepare for the race. We have our road course, all car size set up, like we did in the last episode, 85, 84, and an 85. So uh, we're hoping for a, uh, a decent run here. Uh, <laughs> reality is it's probably not going to be that good of a run. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Let's uh, get it going. And uh, not going to show qualifying. It's just going to be a mess. More than likely, it'll probably be a 24th place finish for qualifying. So... I will see you all back in the race. All right, so as expected, we are in the back uh, for this race. Tyler Gare claims the fastest qualifying time. We obviously did not, so way off pace still, as expected. It's, uh, it's Jefferson. We don't run too well here. So. Oh, God. I just, right there, every single time I go through there, just ride the ball there. I always have an issue with that turn when they, when they drop the green. Don't know why. So, probably show the first lap, probably show us crossing the finish line after that. Not a whole lot really to see. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to keep up. Well, kind of being proven wrong here. Maybe we will show this race. Cutting the course there. Actually, actually not doing half bad right now. So maybe we will get some more reporting in on this one. I don't know yet. We'll see how uh, we finish on this first lap. So we come off the drag strip okay there. Might be something. We get our first win, our first top ten at, at Jefferson. <laughs> Uh, there we go, that's about right. In the wall. God, I just can't get into some of these turns too good. And I haven't run it on a balanced setup because I just, I'm not gonna run a real loose one because I'm not good with the loose setups on the road courses to begin with. Uh, to begin with, I'm not even good on road courses, period. Uh, we're gonna uh, cut it here. If anything exciting happens, uh, we'll bring it back. Uh, 
Well, as you can see, we're, uh, we're actually right up there with these guys again. Getting ready to go into the last lap. We're gonna try to get under. Nah, that's not gonna work. So it's actually not been too, too bad of a race at Jefferson, honestly. Uh, not enough to make me like the track, but enough that I don't, you know, loathe it. <laughs> but try to get through these turns without hitting the wall. I'm gonna head through this little chicane here. I don't like this final turn. I don't like it. I don't run too well there. But we're gonna try to drive it in here, see if we can use them as a buffer. Oh, that didn't work as well as I was hoping, but. So let's shift it back down there, try to use some momentum. I don't know if we're gonna catch anybody. I mean, we got a few, a little bit of an angle there. Might as well put that on here. Yeah, we're about a second and a half behind. It's not impossible. Uh, we made up a little bit of room or a little bit of time through this first part of the track in the last go around. So we'll see if we can uh, make up some time here. Try to get them going into the drag strip. It's not looking too good, guys. But I was hoping for at least the 23rd on the road course. That'd be a victory for me. Little small goals. Ah, I caught that wall there. That, that'll that end it. Oh, yeah, I caught that wall, too. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. So, 24th, it's what we finished, like, you know, it's what we expected, so, uh, I'm not going to complain about it, it's what we were planning on getting, so, uh, it is what it is, we move on and, uh, go to the next race, so, uh, 31, nine, so it's about 4,000, so this is about 10,000 plus our t-shirt, so, uh, $10,000 in the bank, 20th in points, we're not far out of 19th, so, and we got a new incentive contract, so that's awesome. That's awesome. So 24th, $4,100, nine fans. We're up to 69 fans. Anyways, it's the... I don't know where they're coming up with these tweets, man. It's kind of uh, bizarre. Oh, we already started the incentive contract. That's right from the last video, so... Taggart, we should be able to uh, finish that contract. Well, actually, no. We have... Um, I can't see it there. Uh, we actually have to get three, I believe. So, um, Our next race is going to be Taggart. So that's a normal track. So we're going to set up here for normal. Put Swanson... Marie and Miles. So we'll do that. Actually, no, I don't want to put them to work just yet. I want to see if we can get her arrow up. Yeah. So we have max arrow, max suspension. We're good across the board on that. That that's better. All right. So we're gonna start the work plan. Bringing our best stuff here. So we'll go into Taggart, try to get that top 20 incentive contract, another one of them. All right, so we're here for qualifying. And I want to try something a little different here. I want to just run this full on loose. Um, one of the things I have been kind of contemplating is if I should start maybe find a little bit more speed in adjusting the setups going kind of without a preset. I feel like maybe we can find a little bit more speed. Also staying out of the walls will probably help with that. But, uh, we're going to see what we got here. Loose is fast. We're running the, you know, loose is set up. We got 85 across the board on the car. It's, uh, I feel promising. And we run pretty good here at Tagger. From what I remember, so been a couple days. So, all right. 
20th. Okay. I'll take that. That's, I think it's our best qualifying effort. So, we'll take that home. Evan Brown's on the pole. And, yeah, 20th still. No one, uh... No penalties, so we're getting ready for the Freightliner 100 here at Taggart. Evan Brown claims the fastest qualifying time. And that's it. So, let's see if we can take the uh, 99 Blackstorm Motorsports, the Cape's Auto Salvage, late model, to a top 10 finish here at Taggart. I'd like to get to the bottom, I don't think it's going to happen. So we're just gonna have to ride it out. We might lose some spots, but uh, I'm not too too worried right now. I feel like we're gonna make it back up relatively quick. Slide job unsuccessful. Just gonna try to push it under there. You're gonna ride the bottom. That's my group. So I'm just gonna try to push him out of the way there. He'll be all right. We're friends. You'll be all right. That's just going to be the same. Anytime we hit somebody, you'll be up. Right. Wow, we're four wide. I'm going to have to try to get it. Ugh. I was trying to get under Aubrey Scott there to try to go three wide and hold off Daniel Britton. Daniel Britton's really in the last couple races. So if anything, if he complains about anything after this race, I will not be apologizing to him. He's just really annoying me. Oh, I think Aubrey Scott's going to Making some contact. Just trying to move up. Careful now, still there. Oh, now you're clear. Car there is on your inside. And he gets me on the crossover. And we can't cross him back because Glock is there. But we can pin him down. And we do. Come on, turn two there. So we almost spin goalie out, and then help him save it. So we're up to wow, wow, we're up to 16th. We didn't even realize we were that high. So just like my voice just got there. But we're gonna try to catch McCabe here. Try to get into 15. Top 15 feels obtainable. So I don't see why we can't do that. making much time on him, but not really losing time. Oh, we gained some time there. It's, it's in the corners. I feel like if we do start to kind of fiddle around with some custom setups, I feel like we can get more out of gearing. I think we can get a little bit more on the straightaways. If we just get that engine power up a little bit, we're going to really dive it here. Just send it. We got the spot, so we're at 15th. Now we're going to set our sights on 14 to try to catch Sean Wilson and Dan Good. Our best finish is 12th on the season, so I'm still really proud of that. 15th though, I'll take it, you know, it's, it's a good finish for us, so let's see what we got here. And then we got Vegas next week, or the next race, so I think we'll run pretty good at Las Vegas. Trying to reel him in. Trying to pull away from Brian as well. There's always that one car at the end of these races that just seems to just catch fire and just haul from the back of the pack and move to the front. So you know, I don't want to. I don't want to run into that ordeal where we lose the top 15 because of some weird, I don't know, bug or something where that car just just goes. Wow, they are really getting all over the place up ahead of us here, you can see that. Just keep racing, man. If they keep racing each other like that, bouncing off each other, we might have a shot to catch up to them and uh, get another spot or two. But at the same time, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'll take 15th place finishes all day long right now this season. Feels good. Still not sure how to get our car to upgrade a little bit higher than 85s. 
I'm sure we'll figure it out soon though. We're halfway through the race. Schneider's kind of dropping back on this, on this pack up ahead here. Brian McCabe's almost two seconds behind us. And Brady Davidson is almost four seconds, so. 1.5. It's going to probably grow because he's just didn't get off the wall. So kind of right in between Schneider and McCabe. Hear the engine log down right there in turn two. Off turn four, that was pretty good. It just it makes that bog sound, and I'm just wondering how we can get rid of it from bogging down like that. It's maybe just change something in the gearing, maybe in the final drive. I don't know. So, catching him a little bit. More importantly, we're pulling away from Brian. So, even if we can't catch John Schneider, I'm okay with 15. Uh, race is getting a little bit dull here, so we're just going to probably cut out for a little bit and uh, catch you back up if something happens or at the finish. All right, so we're down to two laps to go. We're kind of catching Schneider here, but I, we're gonna definitely run out of time. We kind of just hit a rhythm and uh, just started reeling him in a little bit, but I said not enough time to probably make a run for 14. Yeah, as soon as I start talking again, right in the wall. So it looks like we're gonna take on 15 today. I, I'm not complaining about that. That's, you know, I'd sound a little bit more excited if it was our first one, but I am excited nevertheless, just because top 15s are just better than the last place finishes that we've had uh, going for us. So. 97 speed rate in, 16 cars on the lead lap. We finished 15th, so we're obviously on the lead lap. Shell Baker Dillon, Blister and Pace wins the race. 20. 5,200,000 there, just about, and our t-shirt, so, decent day, 8,000 in the bank, 19th in points, so, Todd Legare with the fastest lap, most laps led would be Michelle Baker Dillon with 21, and our on the move would be Lauren Sheridan, 18th to 9th, and our tough break goes to Brady Davidson, 4th to 20th. So we'll finish up here. We'll leave the track. And 15th, 6,200. Nine more fans. That brings us, now it would bring us to 88, or 78, excuse me. And it's such a clean, okay. 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 All right, so Jay and I are getting a little bit better there. That was amazing, that tag. Okay, well, okay. So, that's two. I believe we have five races to get top 20s. Uh, let's take a quick look at the contracts here. No, that's not what I want, team contracts. Let's go ahead. It's still a three-star team. Like We're better than that, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going with a three-star team next season. We still can't do anything with sponsors, it looks like. Yeah, we can't do anything there. So, facility. Uh, I want to try... I really wonder how it is we get these guys to go higher up on their training. I mean, do we have to get these guys all the way up to 15 to do it? I don't know. But... I am curious about that, but in the meantime, we are just going to, uh, yeah, we could do that. Now, nah, we're going to leave it as is. So we're just going to bank some money for the next couple races. Uh, let's get ahead, and we'll just do Las Vegas. Uh, I don't think I actually set up a car, so let's 
Let's adjust a work plan here. We're going to need a short track car. You know it. Swanson. Milano. Snow. So we got that all set up there. And let's set them to work. All right. And let's go race. Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the dirt track. Should be a good race. I uh, feel pretty good. We got the Pilot Flying J50 here. And let's go ahead. We will get right into qualifying. We're just going to make one last change there. Let's go ahead and get into qualifying. Let's go. Feels pretty good, just to remember, I gotta remember just to kind of bow it down a little bit there. In these turns, it does get a little slow, I feel like, but you gotta just kick it off these corners nice and easy, and it seems to be okay. So, get off the turn four, right near that wall, right. 21st, I'll take it. I'm not complaining about that. We're on the inside instead of the outside, that's gonna be really helpful to turn one. So here we are for the plot. Pilot flying J50. Yeah, we know. He's on the pole. So Ratner goes to the back. That actually could... Uh, uh, I didn't want to start 20th. I was happy with 21st. That's frustrating. Try to, wow, okay. Well, we got down to the bottom. And we're gonna go under Lauren here. Try to get around her going off the turn two. Set our sights on Jay. And I thought Lauren was gonna hit us in that quarter panel there. I thought for certain we might be going around. So we, we hang on to it here. Catch up to Scott. And now we're going to try to get under Brian for 17. Yeah, we catch the positive on that turn too. We got enough of this for a bumper clip. We got a little nudge there. Brian. But we hold it together. We drove it way too hard there. So bottom we do and we continue on 16 so that's that's good uh let's see if we get block let's try to keep our top 15s going not that we have you know obviously kind of broke in the video when uh we race at jefferson jefferson's a mulligan i get two mulligans one in the regular season one in the playoffs that's how i look at it because i hate jefferson I feel like the car's got some speed, it's just, these guys just, they're just fast, and we ran a pretty good lap there, was that actually our best ever? That was our best lap ever here, so I didn't catch what he said about that, I just knew he said fast lap, so I figured it was our best lap ever, so, Daniel Burton, I am going to dump him, I don't care if we have one rival. He is just, wow, I missed him completely. Alright, I gotta get my emotions in check here. I can't let my anger for Daniel Burton go off the entire race. We're running good. Just because he's running into us every week doesn't mean I, you know, gotta lose my focus here, so. It's the one thing that just is so frustrating in the dirt here. They just. I don't know if it's any it's different than the asphalt. I haven't really played any other series other than the dirt uh, in career mode. Uh, so I don't really know if they just wreck into you like they do in here, but it is extremely aggravating when you have the same driver who's, you know, 
on your friends list of all places and they just stick their damn nose in there and there's nothing you can do about it. They just they just hit you and they don't slow down. They're just they're bricks. They don't they don't they don't move. <laughs> so it's a little frustrating. Uh, Ratner. Whoa, we got Hugh Ackerman doing some acrobatic stunts up here. Two wheeling it. Daniel Britton slows down too, so his deal was. But we saw Ackerman getting way up out of the groove and up on two wheels there a second. Halfway. Go. Halfway through the race, can we catch him? At this point, honestly, I'd just be the temple of oh, Ryan McCabe. But it looks like some of these cars are getting slow and they're holding up these guys, so maybe we can pick up a spot or two. Maybe. I think we're definitely going to have to start going about some custom setups, though. I think that's going to be what gives us that final push to a top 10 until we can get this car to 100 max everything. Still not sure, I'm certain on how to do that. Maybe we have to wait a year. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But I'm not 100% certain. We are making some time up here on CJ Boswell. So we're happy about that. They are really going at it up ahead there. So maybe they'll maybe they'll wreck each other. Loop right into this loop there. So no slide job for us. Brady Lewis, he's dropping back too. So, whoa, okay, okay. I had to hang on to it there for a second. Can I angry tweet at you for your aggressive driving? That'd be nice. Like if we could, you know, angry tweet back at these guys. They could tweet at us all day, and we can't tweet back other than when they respond to it. Or other than when, you know, they message us. And sometimes, sometimes their driving's a little bit outlandish. You know, sometimes they're, they're, they're causing problems. So, you know, I'd like to be able to say my, you know, my two cents about what happens in some of these incidents. Oswell, he's just him and Britain in this race. I'm gonna just put it in his door again. There's wall eyed up in front of him and take the spot away. No guilt for that. He, uh, he earned that one. And I'm in no way saying that I'm the cleanest driver out there. I know I've done my fair share of all the way. The AI just, they have such an unfair advantage when it comes to that. Like, if I run into somebody, I, lose, I go all over the place, I ping pong around. Not necessarily ping pong, but, you know, it's it's a lot harder for me to keep control of my car than it is the AI. They just, or they ride on a rail through the turns, they ride on a rail to the extent that if you're in the way, they'll just hit you, you move up out of the way, and they stay right in their spot. They don't, you know, have any issues. So, that's, that's a little bit annoying. We're gonna try to get aggressive here, get under Goldie here. We got two laps to go. We're still on the lead for the lap, so try to put the slide job on Goldie. We get the spot. Can we get Schneider? We get 14th place finish. Okay, we're gonna try. Send it. Maybe not this turn. We're gonna send it, we'll send it in turn three and four. Slide job. We're gonna send it. Door. Oh, 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 I drifted too high. But we got it. Whoa, up on two. All right, so we still got the 14th. So he might be mad about the way we got it, but that's okay. Nothing an apology tweet won't fix. So we come home 14th on the lead lap. Michelle Baker Dillon gets the win. Dan Goodman second. So I'll take it. Not bad. 14th. It's our second highest finish. It's 14th, so we just matched that. So, so yeah, we're right around 20. Nah, 17th, excuse me. So we're up to 18th in the points. We're four back from Scott. Uh, 24 back from Brian. So, and there's a decent little group right there in 14th, 15th, and 16th. So, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Michelle Baker Dillon with the fastest lap of a 15.696. She also led the most laps with 19. On the move, we have Evan Ratner. 
24th to 9th, so that's good for him. And Anthony DeFazio, 8th to 24th, been there. Well, minus the start in 8th part. So 14th, 91, 12 new fans. That brings us to 90 total fans. Are we, we are friends, right? Why'd you run me off the road? You were slow, but I'll apologize. Until today, we've heard you. You ran into me. Yeah. I don't like Daniel Britton right now. I'm provoking him. He's been pissing me off. <sighs> Another one. Thanks. All right. So we're going on to the next race. That will be on week 26. And that's Richmond. So that should do it for this video. We have our final. Wow, we're down to final six races. So we'll probably kill this out pretty quick. Uh, we all, we'll do Richmond and Draven and Jefferson in the next one because Jefferson will be a quick one. And then we might just tag out these three here in the final video. So that'll do it. Let's take a look at the standings before we go here. Uh, this is kind of irrelevant. Let's just look at the playoff bracket. Uh, Michelle Baker Dillon, three wins, 15 playoff points. She's in good shape. Todd Laguerre, Evan Ratner, Hugh Ackerman, Sean Wilson, and CJ Boswell. Six drivers who are all locked in. Two spots up for grabs. One race to go. Elliot Henderson, Brady Lewis. They are in, but if someone from other than them, and it's not a repeat winner, it could change the whole scheme of the playoff picture. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a win at Richmond. Not really, but you never know. Uh, statistics. No top tens yet. No wins. No top fives. Just uh, 26 races into our career. So... Reputation, we're still good on that. And uh, before we go, we'll just get our get our work plan all set up here. We got a normal track, so we'll do a normal car. Swanson, Marie, Snow. So we'll set that work plan in motion, and that'll do it. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, every Every uh, subscription, every like helps out a ton, and I appreciate it greatly. I will see you all back here in part nine, where we will get through our first half of this second half of the season. I guess that makes sense. But there's six races left. We'll do our first three, and in part ten, we will finish out season two. Uh, again, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. It means more to me than you'll ever know. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next episode.